And I want to welcome everyone to the yes, family yes, tree. Yes, yes, All yes. right, give yourself a hand just for shouting in. Coming on in. Give, come on, give a shout out. Give yourself yes, a clap. Yes, yes. All right, good. If you are joining us for the very first time, we want to say uh, welcome through. We got folks calling from Honolulu right now. Oh, <laughs> All right. All right. I want to say thank you so much for coming in and sharing your time. This is the time when we start to talk about holistic health. And if you're someone that's trying to get your health better and to do the things that you got to do, and if anything, this uh, pandemic has showed you something. I know. It's, right. ah, it's about time to get yourself together. Amen. All right. So I want to say, hey, welcome through. And I have my co host with the mostest. Big B, Bill Morgan, give Bill Morgan a hand over there. What's up? That's what, that's what. Hey, all over here. All right. Bill Morgan, Bill Bill 1L Morgan. You know, Bill, I get more calls about you than anything. (laughs) Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Bill Morgan. (laughs) He said, he so is crazy. He got stuff that go on. I tell you, he got stuff going on. He is something else. Holy sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and just right. as crazy as he want to be. Uh, I say, yes, he is. See, come as you are. Come, come as you are. <laughs> you know what? Let me say something. Dr. All right. See, that's what it's all about. So folk, <laughs> that's right. Let me tell you folk, folk think that just because you're Christian, that you can't have a good time. You know that? There you go, Big B. Don't, don't you understand, brother? That's what it's all about. You know, our older, bro- our older brother, brother hung out with the brothers on the street. You do know that, right? That's right. That's uh-huh. right. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want everybody to know that I'm having a good time, and I'm glad to see everybody here tonight. On time. Yes, absolutely. And we want to say if this is the first time that you're showing up tonight, we welcome you to the family tree. We The concept of the family tree goes back to, you know, in ancient times, we sat around and whatever you had a problem, you sat around the tree and this is where the family got together. What is your so what is your real security? Well, your real security is your social security. Somebody needs to, to mute. Somebody needs to mute. Somebody needs to mute. Somebody needs to mute. I'm just going to mute everybody. Yep. All right, mute everybody. All right, the security is your social security. That is your most important thing. It's not uh, a check. It is your family. How about that? So that's why we sit around the tree, and we're going to talk about things that you have seen in the media, things that you got going on at your job, things you got going on somewhere around you. I want you to bring your questions and your concerns, and what we're going to try to do is solve them tonight. And if we can't find out, we're going to find out for you. How about that? Does that sound all right to y'all? And what we try to do things is do things in decency and respect. So there is no dumb questions. How about that? Don't be scared to, you know, don't be scared to get up and actually ask a question because probably somebody was saying, asking the same thing, wants to say the same thing and may not ask it. So the only dumb question is the one you did not ask. Got it? So we want to make everyone feel at home. We're going to do things in decency and order, but also with respect. All right. So we usually start off this thing and we start going into what's going in the world right now. Big B. Tell us what's going on. Unmute yourself, my brother, and tell me what is going on in the world right now. We got the uh, the issues that's going on. And Bill, make sure you unmute yourself, okay? Let me get you there. Okay, got you. Wait a minute. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, right. got it? Yes, sir. I got it right here. Hey, you know, let me first of all, let me, let, let's go and share our numbers with, with a family, man. You know, we're at our very, very favorite website, guys, which is ncov2019.live that's ncov2019.live that way we can share with you as here here are the updated numbers guys uh as of nine minutes ago nine minutes ago uh, these are our quick facts worldwide total confirmed cases is 161 million 51,638 Okay, those are the total confirmed cases. Our total critical mark at this point is 105,215. All right. Total deceased, 3 million. Now, wait, now, listen, think about this. This is the entire world, guys. You know, there are a whole bunch of people on the earth. 3,344,091. Total active, total active, 21,173,339. Okay. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Total recovery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Total recovery, guys. 139, 139 million, 834,186. Woo! You hear me? Wow. That's what's up. That's what's up, y'all. Did y'all hear that? You all need to clap for that. Because if you can't see that out of 161 million people, 139 million have actually totally recovered. There what does go. that mean? That means that you have a better chance and your greatest percentage for recovery happens yes. when you're just doing the right things and there keeping a healthy tempo. Got there it? There you go. That's so right. if you're actually, and this goes back to what they let out the bag. I say they let out the bag. Mm -hmm. They let mm -hmm. out the bag that <clears throat> those that are part of the Lancet magazine, mm -hmm. the uh, New England Journal of Medicine, the JAMA, these are actual medical journals that we used to always uh, look towards for medical research. And in these magazines, they even said to themselves, they said, well, wait a minute. You know, this coronavirus, if you are living a healthy life, pretty decent, healthy life, guess what? Less than 1% death rate. Less than 1%. Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. So what can you get better than less than 1%? You got me? So that's why I say, whatever the case in the situation, understand you have a better, better chance of recovery if yes, you just yes, yes. start to take care of your body. Do the right things. Your body's the perfect system is already inside of you. You don't need a vaccine if the already the greatest source of energy and nutrients and everything that systematically condition to correct mm -hmm. itself mm -hmm. is already inside of you there you, you got are it? there you are it makes no sense so that means that you have the ability to do the right thing so keep that in mind family always go to that website in cove 2019.live if you want to find out the latest numbers that big b just gave you that's in cov 2019.live put together yeah. from one of the number one uh, I say resource sites that you can put on right. your you desktop yes, yes, yes. or cell phone. There you go. Make sure you have that. All right. And it's all all the information is in the chat already, Doctor Paul. So if you want to go to all it, find right. it right there. All right, Prophet's already. I'm sure got her fingers on it. <laughs> She's fingers on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. That's what's up. <laughs> all right, all right, family. If you are also joining us for the very first time and you have a question or concern, you can go down to your chat box. If right in your chat box, right. Right at the very bottom where it says reactions, you can put down and raise your hand. And then we raise your hand. I'll see you up in the top there, and we'll try to get you, and we'll ask those questions. Like I said, anything, we want to talk about any and everything. But we yes, always yes. talk about holistic health because we believe that the holistic health is the proper way to go. Got it? All right. We're going to start off today. And let me see, who do I have first? Who do I have first? And also, if you are someone that is uh, by phone, if you're dialing in by phone, let us know at some point in time, and we'll try to reach out to you so we'll get your question or concern also, because we know you can't put your hand up in the Zoom call, all right? All right, I'm going to start off my numbers here. I'm just going to grab the first person I see on top here. And the first person I see here is going to be Patricia. Patricia Howe. Patricia, you there? You can unmute yourself. <laughs> How you doing, Dr. Paul? Oh, we're doing well, doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, my question is about um, protein in the urine. <laughs> mm-hmm. And what, what it comes from and what, if anything, you can do to make it better. Sure, sure. Whenever there's protein in the urine, uh, we do a urine analysis called the 10SG, which is a which actually 10S S as in Sam, G as in Go represents specific gravity, which is the weight of the urine, and, and that can tell about 10 different things. And one of those in there is actually proteins in the urine. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see proteins in the urine, that specifically deals with the kidneys not able to process properly. So you're losing proteins. And that's when <clears throat> you can also see uh, whenever you're urinating, you see foam in the toilet. Got it? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And by having foam, that means you're losing protein. It's actually in there. Now, to mainstream America, where we talk about uh, normal, uh, I guess we, we we only call nothing normal with mainstream. Uh, that's so true, <laughs> especially today. <laughs> exactly. But we would say um, allopathic doctors or philosophy mm-hmm. would look at that and say that your kidneys are failing. Got it. And that's also what's been a predetermining factor for those who are having kidney damage, kidney failure, and then potentially going on dialysis. Mm -hmm. But that's not what we say. You know what we say? Remember, we look at things what? Spirit, mind, and body in that order. You got Mm -hmm. it? You can never separate the three. Whenever you separate the three, uh uh-oh, you just messed up. You got it? You can only operate in that together. They stay together. They're never to be separated. So whenever you see proteins in the urine, that's a direct sign of the kidneys going through stress. That means you're stressing. That means also you're eating a lot of uh, foods that are dehydrated, concentrated. Stay Mm -hmm. away from concentrated foods. Got it? That means refined sugar, refined salt, refined oils. You got it? You got to stay away from the things that dehydrate the system because the kidneys are probably 20 times more a toxic detoxing the body than mm-hmm. the intestines. You yes, got me? Yes. yes. Okay. So that means that is a stress factor for us because guess what sits on top of the kidneys? The adrenal glands. glands. The adrenals. The adrenals are the ones that are fight or flight. So the majority of the issues that happen with most people of color when we have issues with proteins in our urine has everything to do with black people stress. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my, look out now. Look out, you got family. That. Look out family. We, we really don't need that. We have you got to stress. understand that. You got to understand that. That's about black people stress. That means that we're going through something. And then when you're seeing those numbers, don't panic. But it just means you got to start getting more water in your diet. Got it? Number one, and getting the right water. We always say, you know the water, y'all. I know everybody in here knows this water. If anybody in here wants to tell somebody who maybe been here for the very first time, tell them what the water is. You know it, Patricia. You go to the water, right? Bottle tell at them. the source. Huh? Bottle at the source. There you go. Bottle at the <laughs> source. That's right. Spring water bottled at the source. You got it? If it says purified, filtered, reverse osmosis, or distilled, leave it alone. Stay Got it? it? Stay, away from, Stay it. away from it. Those are the one, the warning signs. Anything on the label that says purified, filtered, reverse osmosis, or distilled in no in any any form, you gotta leave that alone. Got mm-hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Spring water mm-hmm. bottle at the source. I believe in America we have some of the strongest water on the planet, believe it uh-huh. or not. Uh-huh. The mountains in America tend to have the highest ph we're trying to figure this out but guess what y'all <laughs> let me tell you this this land over here got a lot of resources and nutrients in it you know and that is very very rich so keep in mind spring water bottle at the source 8.5 on the ph scale so that's your thing got it now here's some things that i would recommend if you have proteins in the urine remember got to get your water right Half your body weight in ounces. Got it? But also you want to make sure, stay away from the refined sugar, refined salt, refined oils, anything refined. Stay away from fermentation, fermented foods, anything fermented. That would be what? Things were fermented would be what? Come on, family, somebody. Vinegar, Vinegar, right? Vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, sauerkraut, sauerkraut, Sauerkraut. yogurt, yogurt, pickles, Pickles. kombucha, kimchi. Got it. All that stuff is is fermented, which means it's the waste byproduct of what it used to be. It's tearing down. It's destroyed. How can that be dead giving you life? It can't do it. It's going to just strip from the arteries and veins and also the areas of calcification starts cost calcifying parts yes, of your body yes, and your yes, organs yes, 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 yes. so that's what caused crystallization in a lot of your organs so you gotta leave that stuff alone so none of that stuff also carbonization carbonated products carbonization what carbon products y'all have anything 
Soda. 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 Yeah. Seltzer's in there, y'all. Seltzer's in there. Seltzer. Soda. Or what else? You got what else is in there? You got beer, wine. Ah. Yes, beer, wine, and what else? Uh, all the dark and the light, you know, liqueurs because they actually did. Now, that's why if you ever look at the drink, you know, mixes and things like that, or if you ever talk to a bartender, they actually tell you what? They say what? You had a lemon or a lime. Why do mm -hmm. they do that? Mm -hmm. Because it cuts the acid. That's the whole point. It's cutting the acid. It's now too much acidity because of the fermentation now you can actually add alkalinity to it mm, got mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. all right okay so where are we 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 got those things that we stay away from also the carbonization i wanted to say one more thing about that mm -hmm. is that remember you breathe in oxygen and you breathe out what carbon dioxide mm -hmm. got it so if you're breathing out carbon dioxide which is waste why you're drinking it you got oh, me? Well, you got me. All right. So, Patricia, those are good things. Now, not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease, just food for the soul. I'm going to give you some herbs. How about that? Okay. I'm going to give right. you some herbs yeah, for yeah. that. Things that regenerate the kidneys. Number one, we've gone over this several times. One that's really good is celery juice. Celery all juice. Right, all right. You take your good celery juice and you juice it, but it's got to be organic. You got it? Got to be organic. Okay. Also, you can add beets to that. <laughs> you can add beets to that if you like. Okay. Okay. For taste, if you like it, or you know, beets are always good. They dilate. Mm -hmm. They actually open up, and you know, let me tell y'all a secret. I love some golden beets. Y'all ever had golden beets? Never seen them. Never you never seen, seen golden no. beets? Oh no. yeah. See, whenever you see something gold, you know that's God's touch on it. That's the concept. They call right. that God's golden energy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anything golden has that golden touch to it. That's uh, you know, so that's very good for the kidneys. Okay. So celery. All right. Got to be organic though. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another one. I'm gonna give you some herbs now. One is called juniper berries. Yes. yes. Juniper. Juniper berries. Y'all know the Bible. Who sat up under a juniper tree? Mm. Ooh, that's a Bible. That's a Bible question there. Who sat up under a juniper tree? One of the apostles. <laughs> Which one? Jonah. Timothy. Jonas. It was Timothy. Jonah. Timothy. Oh. <laughs> Y'all just throwing out prophets. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want my free juice there. I want you, my free powder. Wait a minute. You ain't, wait a minute. <laughs> y'all think y'all need to Google that one before y'all start answering. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna let that one go. I'm gonna let that one rest. So y'all think about it. Juniper berries, okay? Juniper berries are very good for the kidneys. Got it? Okay. They're very good for steeping. You can steep it three to five minutes. You know they're hard berries, so what they have to do is they have to steep for about ten minutes. If yes, you're taking a yes, tea, yes. You got it? You can also buy a capsule version. And you can buy it in capsules that you can take it as a regular supplement or, you know, as an herb. And you can put it right into your green drink. Boom. Mm -hmm. Got mm -hmm. it? So juniper berries would be number one. So, number two would be dandelion root. Okay. Dandelion root. Okay, dandelion root works very well. Not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease, just food for the soul family. Yes, dandelion is excellent because dandelion not only deals with pulling off the water excess water on the body but it also replenishes the potassium back into the body yes, gets yes, the yes. kidneys functioning again gets them pumping usually whenever you see someone who's having issues with swollen ankles got it swollen ankles is a direct sign of what family kidneys kidneys got it so you have swollen ankles and the ankles are actually not, you know, you're feeling, you know, wow, why are my ankles swelling up? Yep, that's kidney activity. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got juniper berries. We got dandelion root. We got another one called uva ursi. Uva, U-V-A, U-R-S-I. 
two words. Uva, U-V-A, U-R-S-I. Got it? Uva Ursi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, that's a good one. So Uva Ursi is excellent for uh, whenever you're trying to get the kidneys moving again. Got it? A lot of people are having kidney function. Let me tell you, the kidneys are under attack, y'all, because of these GMOs. Uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You got it. These GMOs, I tell you, family, it's the food. It's the food. It's the food. We've been talking about this big B for about 10 years. 10 years now. Yep. At, At least, least over At 10 least years, now. 10, almost 20 years. I've been talking about this, how the food tends to become is is becoming the major problem. Yeah, food is the All biggest right. weapon the world has. That's right. I'm going to give you one more. All right. So which ones we have so far? Patricia, what do we have so far? We got how many? Uh, one, two, three. Okay, give Juniper them to the family berries. that's just tuning in. Just for those who are tuning in for the very first time. Juniper berries, dandelion, got and juniper uva berries. Ursi. We got juniper berries, dandelion. What else? Uva, uva Ursi. Uva Ursi. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you one more. Okay, one more is called stone root. Stone root. Now, I do want to be very very intentional with this that remember whenever i give out all these herbs it doesn't mean you got to go and grab all of them right got it y'all got it because some of y'all are something else boy <laughs> y'all come in and y'all load up my table <laughs> i got this i got that i got this i got that I got this y'all got more herbs than the herb store you don't need everything <laughs> you got it you don't need everything you just need to have one of these Remember, this is your arsenal that if one doesn't have it or they're out of one, you go to the next one. You, you got go. it? There you go. There you See, go. whenever there's, you, you, you know, you're hearing all this stuff about resources and what happens when things shut down and the supermarket close and everybody's running for one thing, you can actually have options because you have the knowledge that, okay, if I need to get my kidneys right, I ain't got to go just with that one herb. I go to one, I got, a, I got options. You got it? Right. Understand, understand, yes. family. Okay, yes. all right, yes. all right. So that would be the last one stone root. Stone okay. root. Okay. okay, there are others, but those are the ones I just want to rest on you today. Okay, okay, all right, Patricia. No. Thank you. Great question. Great question. Thank you. All right, one more question. One more question. Four. Okay, what was the last question again? You said um, you had another question. The juniper berries that, cut, that are in the store with the herbals that you use for cooking. Is that mm. also the same thing? Juniper berries that are in that you use for cooking. I haven't seen that. I didn't see that one before. Really, they have yeah. it in the, in the in the herbal section. Okay, where, just as long as it's unrefined. Where the spices are. Yeah, just make sure it's unrefined. Okay. Okay. Whenever it's unrefined, that means you're getting the what? The best of the source, right? Right. We don't want nothing refined because if it's already refined and it's already been processed, AK converted. That's right. Who's okay. the greatest converters? Who's the greatest converters? Come we on, y'all. Shout we now. Are. Shout we now. Are. We are. are. Right. Don't be cheating me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They cheat you. What's yes. this list for? What is this list for? That's for kidneys. That's for kidneys. That's for proteins in the urine. When someone tells tells you you have proteins in the urine, immediately they push you down the field. That yes, uh, we're talking about dialysis. No, 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 mm -mm. no. Don't jump the gun. Don't panic. You got it. You just got to do something. You got it. All right, family. All right. Good question, Patricia. Thank you so much. Lower your hand there. You're welcome. Lower your hand. Thank you so yeah. much. Appreciate You're you. Welcome. All right. Uh, let's see who else I have here. Big B, you got any questions over there? I, I the question over here. There's someone that wants to know how you become a vegan. A, a vegan. How do you come become a vegan? Yes. How do you become a vegan of all? Wow. Things? Uh, we have what's called the crossover diet. Mm -hmm. You know, there is this thing called the crossover diet. I don't know. Did I ever post the crossover diet? I don't yeah. believe so. I don't believe so, Dr. Paul. Who was that? Probably was that she was quick with that one. No. <laughs> nope. I didn't type up everything. No. <laughs> I never saw that one. <laughs> no, I never saw that one. She was quick, boy. She uh, boy. Like, no, you didn't. So bad. Okay, I'm gonna have to see if I can pull what's called the crossover diet. What is a crossover diet? It means that you're transitioning from eating meats. You know, we tried to transition from meats, number one. Uh, 
because we know that the effect of what the meat does to the body is just it taxes the body. Not only that, but we, we don't know what they're doing to the animals. You know, I yes, gave yes, you yes. a documentary called Earthlings. Earthlings. Mm -hmm. Write that down. Mm -hmm. Write that down. Earthlings. You can Google that and you can go right to YouTube and see a whole breakdown of earthlings of the processes that they use for the animals mm -hmm. and how if you say ah, i eat uh hey big b i eat chicken but i don't eat pork or uh -huh. i don't eat beef but i eat chicken you know all that stuff right guess what y'all eating it all because <laughs> it all goes down the same, same place that's right. It's called a vac. And the vac is actually where they wash the blood of all the animals down the same pipe. So you're eating all of it. You got me? So it's, the whole concept goes back to this. It's what they're doing to the animals. When you start to transition off of this, do it slow. Because most of us have been tradition that, hey, you know, chicken, you got to eat some chicken. And y'all notice the chicken shortage coming, right? Oh, uh, yes, big time. Did y'all notice the chicken shortage coming? Uh-oh, I think yeah. that's breaking news on the family tree. That's yes. breaking news. That's <laughs> yes, it is. Gasoline uh, shortage, too. There's a gasoline shortage, but some people call it the black pandemic. It's really when there's running out of chicken. <laughs> chicken wings, chicken wings. You know, wow. my son, if y'all know, my son does movies and stuff. And we already sat back and said, you know what? We need to do a whole piece. And it's going to call the black pandemic is like, what happens when all the chicken is no longer on the shelf? Boy, that's oh, going to be a man. pandemic, boy. So, yes, they're talking about already right now a chicken shortage because mm -hmm. of the actual delivery of the drivers. You know, they're having problems getting the delivery of the drivers because a lot of the drivers aren't driving anymore. But now you're going to have an, another issue because the drivers don't have gas. There you, go. Mm -hmm. you know, so now if you don't know, um, North Carolina right now all the way from the pipeline leads all the way from, I believe it's Texas, all the way up to like New Jersey, almost New York. Yes. So what's happening with the pipeline, they just said, I think they said it just opened up, but yet it's been held on what's called ransom. Ransom software is a software that basically they say, we won't free your computer systems unless you up pay. unless you pay, pay us. Up. Anybody ever been a victim of ransom software? Not Anyone? Mm -mm. Okay, this is when they see... Literally, they seize your computer up and they scramble all of the data and information on your computer and say, you know what? You can't get nothing on your computer. It's all just gibberish, all this gibberish and stuff. And you're not going to get anything unless you pay us money and then I'll give you a passcode and then you can actually get it free. Now, they tell you never to do this because even after they give you the code, some people never get they never get it free. It still That's doesn't right. clear. That's right. So you pay the money and it never clears out. They say never pay ransom software. Well, that's what was attacked on this pipeline. So they're saying now it was supposed to be freed up by Sunday. Now they're looking at Friday. You can't bank off of that, y'all. Y'all got to be sure that you can now start to do things on your own that when you don't ha when you have shortages you got to know how to say i can actually deal without eating certain foods got there it you are. there you go so now we're going back to eating things like chicken you know you know uh beef pork things like that i would start to you know slowly eliminate this out your diet a little bit at a time and that's what we do for becoming a vegetarian you slowly wean off so if you're a person it's all based on if you eat every day meat then you uh -huh. want to start to wean off of it a little bit at a time y'all know what wean off a little bit at a time mean oh yeah y'all know what that mean okay y'all sure oh, slow <laughs> some of y'all going like this some, yeah. some of them going like that yeah that don't mean sneaking back in there at three o'clock in the morning grabbing some of them cold cuts and <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> see y'all just see y'all just y'all faces tell it all right yeah, and, 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 the truth. and they go they go they start looking the other way yep that's right <laughs> so remember whatever you do you have to do it slowly so it's based on you have to write down how often do you eat meat number one that's the first question i would ask you how much how often do you eat meat got it 
That'd be the first question. Second thing, what type of meat are you eating? You got it? That's number two. Uh -huh. Got it? And if you're eating it on those certain days, what days are you willing to start to taking off at least yes. once a day? Yes. Got it? Start take off once a day. And then what is your alternative for that? Got it? Some people say, well, what, you know, my grandfather told me, Big B, I told him, I said, Grandpa, you got to get off of this bacon, man, because he's from down south. He was down uh, south, yes. mm -hmm. you know, North mm -hmm. Carolina, and, you know, he had high blood pressure. He had all of the above, you know, and anytime somebody would go back down south like their, their cousins or something, they said, bring me Can back some pork back. back. Bring me yes. back some pork back. Bring me back some pork. And they would bring each other back pork, and it would be packed with salt Salts. on top. Oh, yes. Salt pork. You ever yeah. seen salt pork? Yes, Lord. Come on, y'all. Don't act like I'm talking to somebody you don't know. I know y'all know about <laughs> this. Y'all looking at me like y'all like, hearing this for the gibberish. first time. <laughs> <laughs> I have Anyone no idea what you're talking about. Knows about I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> Y'all know exactly what I'm talking fat about. Back. Sort part. That, that used fat to be real. Yeah, that's yeah, what yes. Eartha, Eartha Kitt said. Fodbach. That's what she called it. Fodbach. Fodbach. Pork belly. Pork yes. belly. So, <laughs> so what does that mean? That means you have to transition off of this stuff. It's not what they're doing anymore. They're not feeding the animals the same yes. thing. Yes. You got yes. it? Yes. So you got to transition. Start with that one day and then start to move off to something alternative. I'm going to give you a couple of resources that I do that transition me off when I first started doing it. I started to do things like stir fry rice, stir fries. Stir fries can be very powerful because they're packed with energy. So you start with a base, and the base would be either brown rice, wild rice, or black rice. Got it? Then you would do something like stir fry, which would be, you know, green peppers, onions. It could be asparagus. You could be broccoli. It could be any of those things. Got it? I even sometimes use a little uh, Big B. Mm -hmm. I use sometimes, I use the... Um, you know, a lot of the uh, the the radish. I use a little bit of everything. Right, Doctor. Well, I have a question for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Just on that point, when you're doing that stir fry, do you actually cook it so that it's soft and you little mm -hmm. have want to have a little bit of a crispiness left, mm -mm. a little life left in, in you know in, so, in the food? See, here's what you do. I do a separate boil for the right. rice. Got okay. it. Okay. Quick stir fry. We call flash fry. Okay. Flash fry. Okay. Just okay. quickly. You don't want to overcook it to the point that it's caramelized. If it caramelizes, then it becomes toxic. Yes. Because the oil becomes toxic. That's when it burns. When it burns, that's not good for your gut. That can right. cause okay. gut issues with a lot of people. Got it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do that. Just stir fry, and then you put a lid on it. Boom. Some people even will steam or have what's called a bamboo steamer. There we go. Got it? There the we go. bamboo steamer. You can bamboo steam uh, both the rice and also the vegetables. Got it? Mm -hmm. Some people okay. have the okay. wok. I have yes. specifically okay. a wok. I believe in a wok and the principles of the wok because right. as you move the vegetables to All the right. side to yes. the cooler levels you can actually in the middle if you have a tofu or if you have a fish or something like that you can put that right in the middle you got there it go. okay y'all follow good. me very good very you got good. it so that applied over rice with fish if you had or pescatarian you may want just a lighter you know a leaner thing like a fish that's a that's a good meal also you can use base like a noodle you can do a you can do a noodle but like a wheat pasta don't mm -hmm. do the heavy pastas like the you know the ones that are extra starchy use something gluten-free pasta you can use that listen you can also apparently. use listen carefully yes you can also use another base that i use would be um the squash we use squash you use what's called uh the spaghetti squash that's another one you got it spaghetti squash is another one mm -hmm. so all of these are bases that you can use with stir fries and then you can put it on a bed of rice you can put it on a on a, uh, a bed of you know the black rice wild rice you can even put it on a bed of lentils things mm. like that okay. and the lentils go. can go on rice so there's a lot of combinations that you can use 
Y'all follow me? So transitioning off of meat it literally means going back to things like beans. Got it? Lentils would be the highest on that level. Mm-hmm. Now, one of the things that I really, uh, I really, uh, when I look at the numbers, did you know that lentils have up to 13 grams of protein? Wow. Did you hear that? Wow. Black lentils, you got black lentils, you got red lentils, you have green lentils. Yes, black lentils can go up to somewhere in like around 13 to 15 grams. Wow. That's wow. a lot of protein for a meal. Yeah. Yeah. And also you have, um, if you look at when we were part of the UN, they sent out notices on uh, some of the things that they would recommend to the countries that we serve in the different countries around the world. And one of them is that they said uh, the lentils and the injera, you know, the Ethiopian bread, the injera mm-hmm. bread. Mm-hmm. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, injera bread are one of the most nutritious things that you can do. So lentils and the grain together can be packed with so much nutrients that it could feed the world. Just those mm. two. Mm-hmm. Just those two. What about the quinoa, Dr. Paul? Quinoa can actually help also. Absolutely. Quinoa. That's right. But, you know, um, you have to make sure that, you know, where you get the specific grains, we have to start to do things like pressure cook a lot of them, the beans. Got it? You got to pressure cook them because, you know, lentils have the lectins. Yes. Lectins, L-E-C-T-I-N. You remember lectins? We talked about lectins. Lectins is actually the protein that the bean actually produces to protect its seedlings Mm -hmm. and it's protecting its seedlings because it's saying, all right, I'm going to protect my seedlings. So I'm going to protect this goo that goes over the bean or the, you know, whatever the grain is. Right. And then when you eat that, your body can't digest that. Mm -hmm. That's why people have issues with digesting beans. So that's why when folks, you know, cook beans for three and four hours, they're trying to denature the lectin. But you can easily do this a lot quicker by pressure cooking. So everybody needs, if you're doing some beans or if you're interested in getting beans where they don't disturb you or give you a lot of gas, you would do pressure cooking. You got it? Yes, yes. Did that make sense? How do you spell the name of that bread, Dr. Paul? Someone asked that question. Injera. The injera. Well, that's actually an Ethiopian bread. Okay. It's an Ethiopian (laughs) and it's made. It's actually, uh, it's very spongy. Okay. It says it has a spongy. You know, we went to. Um, you know, I took the uh, men and the women's group to. Um, uh, we went to New York. Um, it's I N J E R A, I N, J E R A. Okay. Yes. Okay. In Jar, you got it. Mm-hmm. But did you buy it at? Well, you really don't buy it. You can go from an Ethiopian store and get this because it's best to get it and it's best to learn how to make it. Yes. Yes. Let me find That's what I would suggest. I would suggest you learn how to make it because it's most nutritious when it's fresh. And if you learn how to make it, you it's almost like a pancake type thing. You know, but it's actually it has holes and it has like a sponginess texture to it. But when you wrap it with like food, it's oh man. Anybody ever have been to an Ethiopian restaurant? Anybody besides no. the women that maybe men men that went to the group with me? You know, <laughs> yeah, they, we went to New York and we ate at one of the Ethiopian restaurants. It was fa- it was incredible. It was fabulous. You know, uh, so yes, so injera bread along with something like that. Okay, I put so, a link in the chat for guys to take a look. Yeah, so that would be my suggestion in transitioning. That's sort of like a crossover mm-hmm. experience right there. So try to limit the amount of intake of meat daily until you wean down to, you know, maybe not four, five times a week. You know, three, two, and then eventually. You're doing one di- one time a week, and then after a while, you're gonna notice that you're not even missing it. Mm-hmm. Got it. Mm-hmm. All righty, all right. Let's go to some of the questions here. We got Troy on the line. Troy. Hey Doc, how you doing, sir? All right, doing well, my brother. How you doing? I can't complain. 
Uh, I got two questions. Uh, the first question is pertain to that gentleman who had a problem sleeping that one time, and he sat under a tree and didn't have any problem sleeping. Right. Yes, uh, yes, Keith. <laughs> my, yeah, my wife had the same problem, and I said, also, and I didn't have any problem sleeping. So we both sat under the tree. That night, she had no problem sleeping, but that night, I had I stayed awake. The second <laughs> night, the sick. The second night it happened again. She she's been sleeping good ever since. So I put my uh, shungite bracelet on, and I've been sleeping pretty good. Uh, so is there, does that have different effects on people depending on where they're at in regards to that? Yeah, I would get under the tree with no gems at all. I would no put nothing on you at all. Just you. Got it? Watch what you have. That means including a watch, no cell phone, no nothing. That's what I would do. See, what happens is you got to remember different things on us can actually yes. cause wow. disturbance. Yes. Okay, electrical disturbance in our bodies. So, you know, you want to you want to make sure you have no charge on you at all. Got it? So okay. so I would just take off all rings, all you know, your watch, you know, no cell phone, just you under the tree. You know, kick your shoes off, sit on that root if you have to. Sounds like your wife's doing good. Yeah, she's doing she's sleeping real good now. Good, yes, good, you got to reset the system, reset the system. You know, you start to see a, a, a change. And um, Keith, I tell you, he's sleeping like a baby. He probably sleep right now. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. You sit under the tree. Yes, yeah, sit under the tree. Got it? I love it. Well, I mean, it's for each individual. You can sit under there for about 30 minutes, you know, 30 minutes. You know, if you get some sunlight, directly to the eyes that's even better if you yeah it was, it was the sun was out that day it was, it was yeah. a pretty good day to do it i'm so glad for your wife and so glad she's doing well yeah uh but right. my second so my second question is what since the they have these new two new strands out here is there anything else that we can do to help better our immune system that there's two new strands of the COVID out here now yeah, yeah. I well, it's actually more than two strains. Um, mm -hmm. You know yes. what's happening yes. over so in uh, what's happening in India right now is very, very uh, concerning. And and then there's another concern that I have because people aren't concerned. <laughs> you know, they're moving and opening up things, and I'm saying to myself, like, whoa, what are y'all doing? This is not good. You know, uh, when you see anywhere in the world a threat, that's a threat to everyone, everywhere. Go. Amen. You know, people, especially America, because of the, uh, the amount of diversity that we have with all cultures more than anyone on the planet. So um, my concern is that, yes, you have to build up because what you're experiencing and seeing over there, do y'all really know what's going on in India right now? Yeah, I don't think so. Y'all see what's going on. They're not promoting what's going on. People are dying outside dying. of the hospital yes. trying to get in. Yes. They have zero oxygen. They are maxed out everywhere. They mm -hmm. don't even mm -hmm. have an accurate count of how yes. many people. So when you get the number on how many people are died, you probably <laughs> want to times that by about 10. Mm -hmm. That's really where their numbers are. Mm -hmm. But yet nobody wants to talk about this. So yeah. that's the concern right now is that that is a variant that is moving and causing a mutation yes. that can hit here. And that's going to be a whole nother game here, y'all. So what yes. you're looking yes. at, what you're looking at over there is not 2019. That's 2021. Wait, yes, yes, yes. You got me? So everybody over here getting vaccines for 2019, but wait a minute, you ain't seen 2021 yet. Are you ready for 2021? No way. This you thing is mutated. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what I would say. Build your system. Continue to do what we talk about here. All those things that we gave out, the vitamin A, the, vit the beta carotene, the garlic. We gave out so many, so many things that we talked about here, you know, with... Uh, you know, the vitamin C, non-ascorbic acid. We also talked about the zinc. We mm -hmm, talked about the mm -hmm. old Indian wild cherry bark syrup. Yes, we talked about yes. the 
uh, oregano, you know, also, yeah, I'm just going off the top of my head, family. Y'all got some, most of y'all got this stuff already written down. And, and it's already in the chat, Dr. Moore. It's already in the yes, chat. Sir, yes. in the chat. So we have so many things that you do, but the most important thing is to clean your system. Keep yes. your system clean. You got yes. it? See, if you keep your system clean and you're constantly keeping it moving, if you keep it moving, can't stay in the system too long. There you go. Got it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to keep it moving, all right? So, Troy, keep doing what you're doing. Nothing has to change. Your immune system is adjusting. You got okay. it? It is adjusting. That is your greatest resource right there. Let no one ever take you around from understanding that the Most High God has put inside of each one of us the greatest weapon to defend yourself from anything. Don't let man think that he has something better than God. It don't work Mark like that. It don't work like that. You got me? Yes. Eight don't go for the fake out, bro. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate you. All right. Yeah. Who we have here? We got, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Is that Kamara? What's up, Kamara? Hey, everybody. Um, Dr. Paul, this is a real quick one. Um, you have shared with the green drink what juices not to put in it because it, it clashed. Are there any fruits? that you should not put because I know you have the option. Um, oh, wow. You are really, that is so tuned in right now. Let me tell you how tuned in you are. Okay. Because I had um, my good brother, I think he's on the line too. Is he on the line? Is Bambara on there? Yeah. Bambara. Uh, let me see. Is Bambara see. on there? He might have stepped off. A long time. Bambara. Bambara. Is Bambara on there? I don't see okay. him now. We had a great conversation today. Yes, he's and, there. Okay. Bambara. Well, anyway, let me just go into it, right? Mm-hmm. What you're saying is so, so important. So many people, raise your hand right now if you are juicing. Mm -hmm. If you're mm -hmm. juicing. You got a juicer in the house. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. I want to see everybody. See? A lot of people got, got one in the house, but I ain't using it. You ain't using it. <laughs> <laughs> I have one, but I don't use it. Just for the users. <laughs> I got three of them. <laughs> At least he's honest. Just for the users. Raise your hand. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to share with you something. And I don't share this too often because I don't want uh, people to be not encouraged to juice. But we got to watch out for what's happening in America right now. You know, we talk about, uh, you know, the excess chemicals industrialization that's going on. So there's something that we've been picking up. And I've been picking this up with a lot of vegetarians lately. Got it? And that naked is real bad, Laverne. That's oh, real bad. Really? Yeah, that's that that naked's got that that naked's got formaldehyde in it. You need to toss that what? right now. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, like the way it tastes, it tastes good. Tastes good like formaldehyde. Yeah, <laughs> leave it alone. <laughs> hey, all poisons are supposed to taste good. That's how you get the poison then. There you go. That's a shame. Well, it's why bad, are they selling it on the market then? Okay, let me let me leave because you you helping me out here with my presentation of what I'm about to talk about. All right, so here we go. The very thing that Laverne just said is exactly the conversation that Bambara and I had today. Because there are so many vegetarians and people that are having these things called phantom pains. Phantom pains. Phantom pains means that, for example, you 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 go in to pick something up, next thing you know, ah my arm. Oh, what was that? Or I'm going to do something and all of a sudden my knee, ooh, what was that? Sharp pains mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are happening to a lot of people. And they're trying to figure out where is this pain coming from? I'm aching like a toothache all over my body. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? We found out, and this is something that I had to I had to experience myself. And this is where I'm saying I'm I'm shooting right from my personal experience. I used to get all these blueberries, right? Uh -huh. And I used to get these blueberries, and somebody was giving these blueberries to me. They said, Doc, you know, we get these fresh, you know, organic blueberries, and we've been getting it. And then I started juicing, and then I started experiencing incredible pains, mm. you know, in my joints and my ligaments. I'm like, what is going on? I couldn't figure out for a long time until I started doing the research, and it showed that blueberries, write this down, 
write this down blueberries strawberries got it blueberries strawberries kale got it oatmeal uh oh look out now oatmeal are some of the most sprayed of what's called the chlorpyrifos wow Wow. And that that and also the glyphosate were two of the highest things that they're doing pre spraying on and they're they're literally killing the stuff. I mean, overdosing wow. on this stuff and literally is so much on it that when you start to now juice, you start to pick that chlorpyrifos up and it's going to go directly in and start to tear up your tendons. Wow. and start to pull and strip the energy out of your joints and things and i tell you i was i was almost to the point where i couldn't even like move my it was unbelievable how wow. debilitating this was and then i start i stopped doing it and it went away just like that it went mm. away and mm. then i started having all these vegetarians coming in saying the same thing and I said, you know, well, what are you doing? They said, well, I have my regular thing. I do my blueberries. I do my, you know, I said, stop right there. Wait a minute. And yet, yes, we're getting the chlorpyrifos is overflowing in a lot of stuff. I know that's discouraging to hear because a lot of times you say, well, wait a minute. I thought that was the good stuff. I would say to you, try to start to, if you can, start to cleanse them with baking soda aluminum free got it baking soda aluminum free try to cleanse them i would start to try to pull away if you are someone that's experiencing the symptoms that i'm talking about you may be experiencing a little bit of that chlorpyrifos now over the chlorpyrifos is actually having problems in places like um over in um in uh, puerto rico right now Mm. They're spraying this stuff so heavily that the people are actually having, you know, issues with lung issues and collapsed lungs, which is called wow. pneumothorax wow. and all of these wow. other issues of pains and things with mm. the joints with the children. And they know that it's coming from the same factory that makes the glyphosate. The mm. So you may want to pull off of that a little bit. That's why we go strictly to the green drinks, because the green drinks have powdered green drinks, dried, and we get it from places where we get it from, which is the closest to the equator. So, Kamara, I would definitely say, where did she go? Where did she she's go? There. No, she's, she's still, still there. there. Yeah, she's still okay, there. Kamara, I would definitely say uh, start to look back at um, – doing more green drinks as opposed to juicing and family i hate to say this because that's what you know we try to encourage people to do is juice right and when someone's coming off of a meat diet say well you need to start doing some juicing you know and and maybe that'll help you and it does help some people but you got to watch out for those few right there so what do we say we said what blueberries what else Oh, blueberries, strawberries, 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 kale, 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 kale oh, right? Oatmeal, right. But oatmeal. Doc, I, I think I didn't communicate well. Um, I was wondering what fruits, like say you're making your green drink, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says on the, um, in, you know, on the directions that you can add water, you can add fruit juice, you can add some fruit. Is there any fruit that clashes with the green drink? Only Remember one that would, yeah, only one here. would be clashing would be one that starts to send it to say into a state of acid, which we remember the pomegranate, you know, okay. we said the, right. no you know, no cranberry, cranberry, carrots, you know, the orange carrots, and that would be orange juice, which is ascorbic acid. Okay. Those would be the four right there. Those are the okay. primary four right there. So if you throw you know. a banana in the green drink, that's not that's that's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad, right? It's not it's bad not if you throw. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not. See, if you have just like a carrier, see, it's not bad if you have like a you know, you know, we always say fruit and vegetables are a problem. We don't want to do too much of right. it, right? But we don't want to overdo it. It's okay yeah. if you need to just help you with your delivery system, which actually makes it easier, easier to digest and to deliver it to you with a taste that's, you know, that's satisfying, things mm -hmm. like that. So you just don't try to go over top of it. You got it? Mm -hmm. So 
I would say, yeah, those are all good. Just watch out for the pomegranate, the cranberry, orange juice, okay. and carrots. Yeah. Gotcha. Got it. Thank you. Gotcha. All right. Appreciate it. All right, family. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good but questions, y'all. Before you go in, organic or conventional? Is that what you're talking about? With yeah, organic. Blueberry? Organic, no conventional. But I'm, in, but I'm saying here, this is what I'm saying. You got to hear what I'm saying. It was actually affecting, it's affecting everything. You oh, know, okay. the, the residue is overflowing even to the organic side. So you you, you got to, it's some real stuff going on, y'all. We got to really be careful. Well, Dr. Paul, where can we get some manna from heaven? <laughs> from heaven. That's from heaven. <laughs> from heaven. I know that's right, Laverne. Laverne. I know that's right. Laverne, Laverne said, I had enough. Ah, Laverne, Laverne, Laverne said, I had enough. I'm take, done with these people. Take, take no more. <laughs> they can't take it. <laughs> I got you, Laverne. Hey, I'm mad too, Laverne. Get mad, y'all. Everybody need to get mad. You need, you need to go to your supermarket and, and start a fight. Just, just I'm, a side. I'm sorry, them. Don't start a fight. Don't throw a fit. <laughs> <laughs> but when I, I, I find a, some manna, I won't get mad. I'll be glad. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Okay. Have, All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, a, a let's question. take someone from the phone lines. Anyone from the phone lines? Right here. Big B. Okay. Uh, we got a Galaxy Z Fold. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. You can go ahead, Galaxy. Go ahead, Galaxy Z. Okay. Tell us who you are. Tell us okay, who your name. Hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm Diane. How's everybody? Great, Diane. All right, Diane. That's good. That's good. It is just as effective because I'm on three times a day, Dr. Hopkins. You'd be so proud of me. All I right. Do, green three times a day, but I just do it with a crystal geyser of water. Is that just as effective? That's or is it just more effective. effective? Yeah, that's, okay. just, that's just as effective. You know, because some I'm people. I'm trying to watch my weight, so I'm also trying to watch any, you know, sugars even from fruit. Right. So, and, and that's okay. okay. That's good. If you can do that, that's fine. You know, some people uh, remember, though, if you're doing organic, sh you know, you know, juices, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's filled with minerals. So it's not like what they think. They're telling people to stay away from fruit and diabetics shouldn't eat fruit and things like that. That's not true. It's always okay. based on the concentration and the fact that mm -hmm. they're, mm -hmm. you know, the there's minerals already in the juice. So it helps the body, you know, to balance itself out. So it's not as bad. But if you can do water, that's fine. Water's okay, fine. Okay, I do it. Um, I, when I first started, I did like a natural cherry juice, a tart cherry juice. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Tart cherry is excellent. Very anti-inflammatory. Okay. You know, tart cherry is good. Pineapple is even good. Pineapple has what's called bromelain. Right. Bromelain is one of the best anti-inflammatories for someone with arthritis. So if you have arthritis, yep, you can get the bromelain. Yep. Excellent. Okay. That's the inside lining of the uh, of the pineapple. That's also used for getting rid of issues with, you know, you know, connective tissue issues. Again, dealing with inflammation, things like that. Yeah. Where, where would you find your best pineapple juice? I feel like a juicing. Best pineapple would be just 100 percent, just as 100 percent. Okay. Remember, if you ever see, you know, people tend to say, well, I'm not going to get it because it's concentrated. If it's concentrated, you just put the water back in it. You got it. Okay. So you, okay. that means that you're adding water to it. So you would do, for example, if it was six ounce, if it was 12 ounces that we say to get in for a green drink, 12 ounces, then you would do six ounces of pineapple juice and you do six ounces of water. Got it. So there's your 12 right there. Got it. Just for the delivery system, just to make it a little pleasant for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that good? All yes, right. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate you. All right. Let's see who else we have here. Big B. Any in the chat that we need to talk about? Pineapple kills parasites. Also, woo. Protein comes from beans, lentils. When coming off meat. Yep. That's good stuff. All right. Good. Good. I'm reading some of y'all chats. Yep. Yep, OJ. Dr. Paul, can I ask a question? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Sure, Yupenda. Sure. Who is that? <laughs> Yupenda. Yupenda. Hey, Yupenda. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? How All you right. Doing? Good, um, good. Quick, quick question is two, actually. One is, do you have any recommendations for, for herbs for cholesterol? Mm hmm And then the second question is, is there a such thing as going overboard with all this stuff like 
for instance, I'm drinking the green drink, I'm drinking the celery juice. And don't get me wrong, I love the way it's making me feel, but I'm just wondering am I, if I'm overdoing something. I don't know. Right, so it, right. Yeah, you you have to uh, remember the body's only looking for what it needs. You know, that's why I always tell everyone to check your pH. That's your balancing factor right there. Your pH is the potential for hydrogen. So you want to always make sure that tells you where you are. So if your pH is on point, you're good to go. When it falls below a level, that means that you're working overtime. Sometimes the body has to work extra hard to get rid of what you don't need. So that's why the green drink is always a base drink. That's the whole concept of why I did that. I created that based off of, you know, I say I didn't come up with this, y'all. I say this is God inspired. This is just the things that we're missing when it comes to total nutrition. And it comes from not here. It comes from closer to the equator. So now when you get the best of the land and best of the ocean, that's balancing out. Got it? So from there, you move forward. Now, if you need an herb for a specific thing, that's why we add the herbs. Know what the herbs are and what they're used for. Yes, there you go. Got it? There you go. That's the key. So this is like your toolbox. I say a toolbox, just like if you're, you know, having fix a problem in your home. If you got a nail and you need to put a nail in the wall, you wouldn't grab a screwdriver, would you? Right. Exactly. You got me. You got me? Yeah, you grab the hammer and you go at it. That's the same way as you approach the herbs. You use it as your arsenal, but understand what they do and respect them like electricity. <laughs> That's what we say. Respect these herbs like electricity because they are powerful. And you don't want to overdo it because if you overdo it and overlap, I get so many people that are coming in, buying everything and then taking everything. You don't need everything. Usually you need something very simple, the basics. And if you have a mm -hmm. herb to drive it, maybe something slightly out of balance, you just take that herb. So don't try to do everything. Got it? Just yeah. do what the body's actually saying I need. All right. Because if you overlap too much, then the body says, I got to work extra hard to get rid of what I don't need. And it mm -hmm. takes energy to do that. And then next thing you know, you taking herbs and you saying, you know what? I'm taking these herbs. I feel tired and I'm more tired than I did before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's so going true. on? So very that true. means usually that's the first sign that you got too much going on. You mm -hmm. got it. That's your first sign. Okay. All right. So, so I would say that's where the assessments come in. We help you with, with that, you know, to know where you are, but start with the green drink. That's usually where we start. Start with a basic green drink because they're trying, you know, that's why I called it the natural green balance in GB. Cause that's like a balance. That's a general balance for everyone land mm. and sea. And then from there, it corrects a lot of problems. And then from there, if you need something else, then you would add to it. You know, we came up with uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 75 different formulas. I came up with about 75 different formulas and I sat with Dr. Africa. And if y'all know Dr. Africa, I studied under Dr. Africa. And when Dr. Africa, I sat with Doc and I said, Doc, I got all these different formulas. And he went over all of them and he approved all of them. He said, they're all good. And I said, but the green drink usually sets everything straight. And then if you need something else, you go outside of that realm of the green drink. You got me? Because yeah. there's so many things that you can get. Remember, the greatest source of energy is always hydrogen. Hydrogen base. Got it? Hydrogen. Hydrogen is the greatest source of energy in the universe. And the greatest source for it is anything green. You know mm -hmm. what? This is so... Big, 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 this is so crazy. You know how crazy this is? How crazy is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I couldn't let that go. <laughs> I know, you, you, you just... You just I know. You know, I couldn't let that go. <laughs> <laughs> you just, that was too big. That was too perfect. That people are so... Like, I have no energy at all. But yet, when you go outside, you're surrounded by energy all around oh. you. All From the long. grass to the trees to Everywhere. everything around you is yes. energy. Yes. And you sitting there with no energy at all. Wow. How so ironic is wrong that? With that? That is so ironic that we're surrounded by greenery and life and all mm -hmm. this. And mm -hmm. yet we have no energy at all. Wow. 
Tell you. So, so hopefully that helps you out. Start with the green drink. Move out from that. If there's something specific like with diabetes, high blood pressure, things like that, then we, well. yeah, we we try to we try to you know focus it in the direction that helps you out there. But start with the green drink. That's your base baseline and foundation. All right. Yes. Thank you. Okay. What about All right, thank you. What, what about arthritis, Doctor Paul? Yep. Any arthritis group? is a direct sign of inflammation. That's the body attempting to heal itself. It's going to go after your calcium in your body to try to raise the pH. So if you're a state of acid, you're tearing down too much acid forming foods, then the body says, I got to go somewhere to look for some alkaline. So I'm going to go to the only place I know. I'm going to go for them bones. I'm going to mm-hmm. go for the calcium in your bones. Mm-hmm. And then that's when you're saying, oh, my hip is hurting, my knees hurting, my joints hurting. That's what's happening. It's the body attempting to heal itself. That's what is happening. So got so it. what does one do to correct that beside the green drink? Alkaline. Here we Al- go. Just gotta, you got to line it up. Anything green. Green drinks. That's why the green drinks start to correct a lot of problems. Mm-hmm. But usually, mm-hmm. you know what? I'm going to say one one more thing. Usually people have, you know, they're not deficient. It's insufficient. Uh-huh. You got it? Uh-huh. So it's not deficient. It's insufficient, which means you're doing something, but you're not doing enough of it because mm. you're moving and ter- you're moving and producing more than you're actually taking in. That's mm-hmm. usually the problem. Because people say, well, I'm taking my greens, I'm doing this, but I still got the problem. But you're not taking enough to the level where you have to stay steady. Stay Mm. steady. Got it? Mm -hmm. Remember, you're under a, you're in a state of crisis living in this northern hemisphere. Got Mm -hmm. it? You're living Mm -hmm. in this northern hemisphere. You're taking a hit just by living in this, this cities. You know, you're, 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 you're. Electromagnetic fields getting pounded every day with yes, Wi-Fi. Yes, yes. You're sitting in the house with your electric meter, your water meter, your gas meter, all got electric, all got Wi-Fi on it. Mm. You got a mm. Wi-Fi signal ha- with all hammer. your computers. You mm. got the big old 60, 75 inch TV going. You got your <laughs> cell phone. You got all of this going on around you. You got me. Wow. And mm-hmm. then you're wondering why you're aching in your bones. You mm. got me? That's exactly what's happening. So your body is like doing an incredible balance of trying to keep things steady. But you got to help it out. You got to help it out. That's what the green drinks are for. People bounce back so much with the green drinks. Like I said, it's not deficiency as much as insufficiency. Got in, it? That, in that group you were talking about, that's also for cholesterol as well, right? That's for cholesterol. Well, cholesterol would be something I tell people, you know, the number one thing is the oils. Watch the oils. Watch the refined oils. Got it? It's the refined oils. It's almost like every time we take folks off the oils, cholesterol literally zaps away. It's like it's not even a it's not even an issue. It's one of the easiest things that you can get rid of. You know, when you talk about cholesterol, it's the triglycerides. If you ever pull somebody aside, it's the triglycerides, the fat. Mm -hmm. That's, that's clogging against the arteries and veins. So what you do, what do you do? You start to get off the oils, start to do things like baking, air frying. You got it? Stay mm-hmm. away from those other things. You start mm-hmm. to do those things, and you use little to no oils. And uh-huh. guess what? That stuff goes away. You know, crystal, you know what, Crisco? You yeah, might remember yes, Crisco. Crisco, yes. And lard. Wow. <laughs> all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all going, oh, my. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Crisco. <laughs> y'all remember the Crisco? You had the big old skillet. You take that white stuff and go, boop, and you drop it in there, and then you roll it around oh, in the man, skillet I, like this. I know, that's right. Y'all act like y'all know what I'm that's talking cool. about. Y'all looking like yeah, y'all ain't never seen this before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all, <laughs> y'all playing with me. Y'all playing with, play me. Nah, y'all playing with me tonight. <laughs> Yes, but Crisco was was the first form of hydrogenization. Yes. Hydrogenization yes, yes. was the process of where the, for the you know that Procter and Gamble came up with that concept. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's it's pulling all the moisture off of it, everything. So you don't want anything that's hydrogenized. That's what things like TV dinners and the you yes, know the, yes, the yes. creamers that go in your coffees and stuff like that. Those things are bad for you because it it's actually hydrogenized. Mm. Hydrogenization started with them creating that process to make soap. That's wow. where it came from. That was to make soap. 
And so what does it do? When you strip all the moisture out of it, what happens? It gets hard mm -hmm. like soap. Got it? And now when you do the same thing, that's exactly what's happening in your arteries and veins. Mm. My, my, my. When you take anything that's hydrogenized, it gets hard like a, and it cakes up that line. And next thing you know, your, Chris, your, your cholesterol levels go high. So what is it? Stay off of those. That's what they started doing. Uh, Procter and Gamble used crystallized cottonseed oil. Mm. That's okay. what it was called. Crystallized cottonseed oil, because we got, we got to save this lard. Because the lard and stuff was used for the war. So this is around the time of the war. Yes, so we got to yes, use yes. something else. So we're going to manufacture this crystallized cottonseed oil. And we're going to make it out of the cottonseed, right? Mm -hmm. That's what Crisco is. That's what Crisco stands for. Crisco stands for crystallized cottonseed oil. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to do with that Wow. Way. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so that's why a lot of our parents were actually having high blood pressure and a lot of things. It was the Crisco. That's mm. what it was. Mm. Clogging up a lot of arteries and veins and stuff like that. So stay off of that stuff. Sea buckthorn. That's one I highly recommend. Sea buckthorn. Sea buckthorn. buckthorn. Very, very good for that. And any unrefined oils breaks that up. Also, of course, the, alu the allium family which mm -hmm. is the, uh, we'll break that up also, which is the, of course, the red onion or any of the onion family and the garlic. Okay, that breaks it up. Got allium family, that's the allium family. So that's the scallions all the way up to the, you know, Spanish onions, all of those. And then you got uh, other things like asparagus, beets, cayenne pepper, all mm -hmm. those things dilate, open up those arteries and veins. Got it? Breaks that stuff down. Uh, red yeast rice. Yes. That's yes. another good one. Mm -hmm. You know, so a scrubbing. It has a scrubbing activity to actually clean those arteries and veins. But I'm going to tell you the number one. It's that, it's that canola oil, y'all. I'm going to try to tell y'all. Yeah. That's what yeah. it is. It's that canola oil. You got to watch that canola oil. That canola oil is the worst thing they ever created, mm. and it's in everything. I, I tell you right now, when we get off of this, I want everybody to go into your cabinet, into your refrigerator, and I want you to look at the ingredients on all your stuff. You're going to see canola everywhere. Mm. It's everywhere. They say corn is the king corn, but let me tell you, that canola uh, oil uh, uh. is the second worst. That's the second worst. Yeah. Because that's what clots yes. up your arteries and veins. Hmm. So get off of that. Uh, you can also do something like, a, um, if it's not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease, that's food for the soul family. I'm going to give you CoQ10. CoQ10. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. CoQ10. CoQ10. CoQ10 is the coenzyme, yeah. which actually goes, it's actually functioning in every cell in your body. It is highest in the heart and in your brain. It's the coenzyme, which means your body converts it to either an antioxidant, which actually is a, a nutrient or an ox or a antioxidant. Mm -hmm. So that is where you would use that to, to help break down that also. And if you're in Canada and they give you a statin, they got to give you the CoQ10 because the statin reduces the amount of CoQ10, but in America, you're on your own. So they'll give you the statin and never even mention to you CoQ10. Yeah, so very true. You got so it? So very true. So CoQ10 is the spark plug. That's what fires off. That's like a spark plug to a car that keeps the engine moving. The fire fires off. Got it? All right. I got something I want to talk to you all about. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to take a couple more questions before we leave. But I got something very, very important I need to speak to the family about. And this goes into what you're seeing with, you know, this time that we're living in is really like a dire straits with everything. So what you see going on in India could easily happen here, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, they're even talking about when they're hinting around that there may be, you know, shortages of chicken, <laughs> shortages yes, of yes. water, shortage of gasoline. Yes. <laughs> You got me? 
Yeah. You have to start to get things in order in your house. Mm-hmm. Can Absolutely. I get an amen? Amen. Oh, yes, amen. Amen. Right. amen. Amen. I want y'all to start to look around, starting mm-hmm. right now after we get off of this, this Zoom call. And I want you to start to start to look around and say, you know what? What happens if the lights went out right now mm-hmm. and the power went out and I would have to just fend for what I got right here. Oh right. Lord. Oh Are Lord. you ready? Are you ready? Like the barbecue. Like, you know what, Dr. Paul is thinking the same way you're thinking. I mean, my brother just came from Virginia. Do you know they had to stay extra day because there was no gas in Virginia and they mm-hmm. had to get up early at three o'clock to try to get the gas before the people got there? That's it right. hasn't got up here, but he said it was crazy. Right. And the only reason thank goodness we had a president that actually is from the Northeast because he actually told them to let the rest of the oil go through the pipeline. That's why we're not experiencing what they're experiencing down South. So when he did that, they actually caught the brunt of the situation down there. Nothing Mm -hmm. was left in the actual pipeline, but the red, whatever was in the pipeline is why we're not experiencing that shortage right now. Did y'all know that? Mm. No. So that's, that's really what happened. So here's what we got to do. And my point that I want to make, I want everybody to be, and this is definitely serious on this one, y'all. You got to start looking around your house and saying, do I have enough water? Mm -hmm. All right, write that down. Do I have enough water? Do I have enough food? And that's not food that's perishable food, but food that actually could stand and I could literally, you know, live off of this for mm-hmm. at least, you know, a couple weeks or even more or a month mm-hmm. or two months okay. or six months. Right. Do I have room to store this stuff? You got to start looking at this, y'all, because right now when they talk about this, you have to have the ability to, to survive out here with what they're talking oh, about man. shortages, because know, what happens right. is when they start to talk about gas shortages, that means also the same trucks that got to get to the supermarket right. to deliver the food. Mm-hmm. That's right. Makes right. so much sense. Right. You got me? Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Well, that did happen. So now, so now what happens when you saw what happened when they was, you know, running for the toilet paper? Okay. Now, what happens okay, when you start running for the food? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. That's a whole nother Another thing you're going to have to look at. Got it? Well, so That happened up here in New York during the height of the pandemic. You went in your supermarket and the shelves were literally bare. Right. There, was people, no, there were no chickens. Right. right. No chickens. So, so All family, you had was pork. Right. So here, family, this is why we were, I was mentioning to you, you got to start weaning off of this meat. You got it? That's a perishable. And if you're not you're not prepared for dealing with that, you're going to go in through it's going to be harder on you. Mm-hmm. So you're going to have to start to get the things and the foods that you can say, you know what, if I had to, you got to start at least thinking like this. I want you to mm-hmm. start thinking. Just start thinking. I know it's hard. No people say, I only want to think about this, Doc. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. But I want you to start thinking about it. Got it? Because you need to have canned foods, foods right. that are actually will sit for a while that you can go in and eat things that you can have that are that are not going to, of course, need a refrigerator. Because if the power goes, you know, there's no more meat. <laughs> OK, there's no right. more meat. There's no more any of that and gas can- line, just like they hit the these are hackers that hit you know, the pipeline. Right. All right. Well, what, what happens when the hackers hit the water line next? Right. Okay, guys. Yeah, I mean, what up. happens Listen when carefully. they hit the water line, you know, because the wow. water line, I don't know if y'all heard about this. You remember about three, I guess about uh, maybe about a month and a half ago, they hit the water line mm-hmm. and then they altered the ability for it now to now dump into their extra 
you know, uh, mm-hmm. sodium lauryl sulfate, which is a lie. Yeah, he's on his- mm-hmm. Y'all hear that? Okay, okay yeah. guys, listen. That's what happened. Sodium lauryl sulfate was actually added. And then people say, wait a minute. What they doing putting sodium lauryl sulfate in our water? So you kind of told on yourself at the same time. But that's lie. So lye is used to clean the water. You got it? Mm-hmm. So at the same time, do you have enough water? You know, you should be starting to store up per person, you know, at least a five gallon per person. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what you need to be doing. That's in your household. You know, you got it. That's a minimum right there. But also having enough, you know, things that you can, like I say, that are non-perishable. Make sure you have that. I want to also say, I want to introduce y'all to a couple of things that you need to get in your home. One is if the power goes out, you need something like this. See this right here? Can y'all see that? Yeah, what is that? This is actually a, it's an emergency compact radio. Yes. It's an emergency radio. Oh. Mm-hmm. Got it? Can y'all see this? Yes. Emergency. Yeah, emergency it. radio. Got it? This emergency radio is broadcast for all of the emergencies that something in case of something of an emergency happens, you can actually get it. You can get it right from Walmart. See how small it is? Mm-hmm. Now, if you get one, I'm going to tell you there's two things that you want to make sure you have on it. Got it? Two things that you want to have. Try to get one that they got these new ones out that really are good <coughs> because you can't get one and then all of a sudden your batteries go big. Then mm-hmm. <laughs> it's no uh-huh. good, right? So, one. <laughs> say, say, thanks, Doc. I appreciate that. It did nothing for you, right? So get one with a solar panel on it. Oh. See right there? Oh. Charges by the sun. Mm-hmm. Got okay. it? Got all it? Right. Ain't that cool? Yes. Okay, but there's also another little gadget on here. This is a double power one. So if that, if it's cloudy, I got this <laughs> other side that I got this thing on here. It's called a crank. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So this cranks, yes, this sir. is considered oh a crank radio. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Yeah, we, so you, you can hear it. And got it? Can you get them at Walmart? Not yes, sir. I got this from Walmart. Hey, hey guys, forty nine dollars, no less. Can you believe it? I got this from Walmart. I got this from Walmart. And then no set. It's got a flashlight right here. Forty nine dollars. See the flashlight? Oh, okay. Cool. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put the link. Ain't that guys, cool? In the, in the chat. And then also on the front of it, it's got the band. It'll check all the weather. And it gives me alerts. It gives me all alerts that happen. So any alert that happens, this thing goes off like a fire alarm. Anytime weather in my area goes over in my region, it locates where I am, and it'll tell me that there's a weather broadcast alert for your area. Got it? It has under the very, very bottom of it, it has a rechargeable battery. There you go pulls right wow. out of here this battery right here is a rechargeable battery so that's what cranks the radio cranks recharges this battery and mm-hmm. then you have unlimited amount of space and time for it got it wow. Amazon. go, walmart. <laughs> go hey, ahead guys. walmart ain't y'all doing it 49 dollars, guys you can Happy carry walmart. it like this it's very light it's very convenient and remember, what happens if the power goes out? This is the only thing you got. Right. You got you it? You, can you can't, go to, can't go to your cell phone. <laughs> your cell right, phone. That, ain't, that, ain't that ain't working. That ain't working. Your cell phone is gone. Forget it. GPS is over. You got me? Wow. All right. So get one of these. Here's, where, here's one of the box. Here's the box it comes in right here. Can y'all see that? I don't know if it's backwards or not. No, it's, it's okay. Is it, is it okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, Emergency crank radio. That's what it says. Emergency crank radio. Yeah. Crank radio. Okay. Get you one. Make that. Yes. Put that on your short on your list immediately. Got it. Now. Yes. All yes. right. Y- y'all follow me, right? Yeah. All right. Next thing I would do Good is thing. I would get these little mm-hmm. walkie talkies. Mm-hmm. I got these little walkie talkies. 
<laughs> you got it? See these little walkie talkies? Walkie they can go can as far as 14 miles. I'm all the way, way up in the Northeast, but I can hear downtown what's going on in Philadelphia right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. So the other person on this would be in the mile range of about 14 miles. This is 14 mile um, walkies, walkies that I have. See, you need to have this for each one of your persons in your family. You got it? Mm-hmm. And you need, ladies, you need to keep one in your pocket. And then your husband, the other one, or your significant other with the other ones as an emergency. If something happens and the cell phone goes off, y'all can't communicate. This is the only thing you got. Y'all follow me? Y'all yeah. follow me? Y'all can say mm. something. Yeah. You got those at Walmart, too? <laughs> got them. Got this from Walmart, too. You all shocked. <laughs> Walmart or Amazon. I got my knife from North from Walmart, also. <laughs> uh, all right. So that's good. And I'm going to give you, um, let me give you one more. Actually, a couple more things. Uh, This one here is another additional device right here. See this right here? This is something that's called a solar charger. This is a solar charger. Got it? The solar charger is something that you can grab, and it charges by the sun. So you can charge any devices. Has a little kickstand to it, mm. like this. Mm-hmm. See how it goes like this? It sits mm-hmm. to the sun, mm-hmm. and as it I charges, we got the little battery on the side right here. Wow. It lights up and tells you when it's charged. But you can charge, this can charge like three or four devices on you, including like radios, things like that, you know, anything, anything that you have. It also has on the side here, uh, it has on the side here, the different USB ports. There Mm. you go. That's right. So you can actually charge this, and this could run your computer. There you go. Wow. Ain't that awesome? This small device, just as long as you got sunlight, it Mm. can be charging and actually run your computer. Because it's got the USB on the side right here. Mm. You see the USB on the side? You know something that we don't know? I'm just saying. When you start hearing people saying, yes. When you you start hearing people talk about shortages. And they've been talking about it now for a while, That affects you. That affects you, family. Don't don't let that go by. You know, when they start talking about shortages, see, you're, you know, they're giving you the heads up. So you need to be prepared. So this is a great... Mm-hmm. So, wh- what is that? Who said that? Somebody said, where did what come from? That one. This one right here? Yeah, all of this came from the same place. I got all this from Walmart. You got me? I got all this stuff from Walmart. This is just me spot picking stuff. You know, just saying, oh, that's, oh, man, I got to use this. Oh, yes. Because you got to start thinking like that. That's why I'm saying to you, start thinking. Start thinking. Got it? Start thinking about this stuff. Look around your house. Start to say, what do what I have to do? Do I have mm-hmm, enough water in mm-hmm, here? Mm-hmm. I might have to take a trip to BJ's or Sam's or somewhere and start well, getting them big oh. five-gallon chump. Just uh, throw yes, it right sir. in your garage. Uh, yes, sir. Just throw uh, it in your garage. Put it in, in the basement. back porch. Put it yes, in the sir, basement. Buddy. Just be sure. Grab you about five of them. Got it? Just sit there. Because let me tell you, when you run out of water, you're going to have to start jumping in that line with everybody else. I know. That's right. This one also has a light to it also. Very bright light. See that? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Paul, what about yeah. investing in a genera- generator? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Some people have generators. So if you're doing a generator, you have some that are generated by, you know, once they're hooked to your house and they're they're more sophisticated. Uh, there's some that are solar generators. Yes, there's some yes, that are yes. gas or run by fuel generators. Oh, so, yeah, yes, yeah. all of those are good. All of the above. You oh. know, I would definitely say yes. You know, you mm-hmm. have to have game plan in order. See, there's another thing that happens, too. Uh, there's this thing called EM pulses. EM Amen. pulse. Yes, sir. Or solar flares. Big one. 
happening. Okay, EM pulse and solar flares literally can happen where it changes the ion. It's gamma energy that comes off the sun. But when it hits things that are of a different polarity, it shuts them down. It steals the charge. So that means that cars, you know, computers, things like that will oh, not work. Again, okay? electric cars too. It's, oh. it's everything. 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 That means that it's a form of, it's a weaponry. That's mm -hmm. part of, that's like the, if you ever see a nuclear explosion, when you ever see the nuclear bombs that have gone off, you've seen the pictures, when that goes off, there is the destruction, but there's also the EM pulse, mm -hmm. which actually takes and changes the frequency of everything so it neutralizes everything so now steals the charge shuts down cars shot downs everything so they've actually utilized now e-impulse weapons they have e-impulse grenades when they went into uh remember when they went into i think it was um you know those countries over in in, in um uh, in the middle east they came in just with the EM pulses. They just dropped the pulse bombs. Yeah, they would just went go. like this. Boom, 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 boom. And then the lights just go out. That's it. So what does that happen when you also have what's called a natural EM pulse or a natural solar flare? There was one that happened back in the 1900s. I want you all to write this down. It was called the Carrington effect. It was the Carrington effect. Carrington. C-A-R-R-I-N-G-T-O-N. -R -R -I, I want you to Google that. That was when we didn't have a lot of, okay. you know, telephone poles and all that other stuff. And this thing literally wiped out everything of the little poles we had. <laughs> now, now that wiped out, and that's when we got hit with a direct one from the sun. That's a natural solar flare. Now, what happens when you get hit with one nowadays? Oh. You get hit with that. Everything we everything have is on electricity. Everything's on electricity. Everything. Everything. Think about something. Look around your house right now. What is not running on electricity? Mm -hmm. Candles. <laughs> Nothing. Everything. They, is running on it. Everything. <laughs> everything. She said everything. candles. <laughs> candles. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's, so we're going to be back into the Stone Ages. You got yeah. it. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Last thing. Your last thing. And I'm going to leave this alone. But I want y'all to start thinking, all right? I just the whole purpose of what I'm saying this tonight is I want the family to start thinking about it. I want you to start to get your family thinking about it. You know, what is there a uh, is there a specific area that you should meet at if something happened like that? You yes, should yes, have a yes. meeting place for your family that hey, if anything happens and I can't contact y'all, meet me over such and such house or somewhere down here or here. Have a specific meeting point so that you can get in touch with each other. Got me? All right. I want you to do. I want everyone to get a resource material. This is one I highly recommend for you. Got it? It's called the Disaster Preparedness Handbook. Okay. See this? Can y'all see that? Nope. I mean, tell me yeah, you yes, you can. Yes, you can. Too. Yes, you can. I ain't get this from Walmart. Oh, okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. I didn't get this one from Walmart. But this is an excellent book, okay? Can you take a picture of that? And if you're uh, if you're watching, you can take a picture. You can snapshot it if you want to. All right? And this is actually from a Dr. Arthur Bradley. Okay? This actually is a great resource book, which it can be a guide for you. Uh, it covers everything. The guide for families. We are the family tree, right? Okay. Hey, hey, okay. hey, 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 hey. And this is the second edition right here. And he talks about storing food, conserving water, finding shelter, learning first aid, providing clean air, stay warm and cool. Because remember, when you don't have any power, you ain't going to have no heat and there's no air condition. You know, that's it. Protect your family, how to protect your family. All of those things in this book. Got it? Mm, Get you okay. a resource book. Get your resource book. And don't get the digital version of the book. <laughs> don't get now, now anybody have to ask me why I don't get the digital version book. <laughs> got, 
Don't Can you hold it up digital. one more time, please? Put it up a closer okay. to the screen. Oh, right. I think it's your reflection. The thing that your your black the blue yeah the, the background sort of makes it go in and yeah. out, Dr. P. Oh, it's the blackness. It's yes. my blackness. Yeah, it's your blackness, buddy. There it is, right there. There it is. Okay. Who's the Got author? It? I can't read the author. Okay. Doctor Arthur Bradley. Got there. You get it at the bookstore. Yep, you get it at the bookstore. Okay. There may be additional. There may be additional editions uh, later, but this is the second edition. This is a very, very powerful book. This is a very good book because it goes into the details. Get you thinking. Got it. Get you thinking, family. This is the time to be thinking, right now, because you know people act strange when they don't have Man, certain yeah, resources. Okay. People won't get crazy when they don't have resources. They already talking about. How down south, and I don't know if y'all saw the world news, but they fighting at the gas station. Yes, they that's are. Right. That's what Big I'm trying time. to tell you. That's, yes. Big time. Okay. Now, imagine when this becomes something about food and people that's fighting for their families. Are you ready? Are you yep. ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All over again. You got it. Anything? There you go, Sam. I see you, Sam. <laughs> All right. So I, I just want the family thinking today. Got it? Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. you're hearing too much of it. Mm -hmm. You're hearing too much of it. And you you need to be awake. Mm -hmm. You need to be awake, just and prepared to say, I got something. I don't have to run out there in that craziness. It's mm -hmm. something going jumps off. Got me? Mm -hmm. I can stand here for a while and, you know, suffice without going out into that ruckus. Because remember, when you go out there, you're now putting yourself and your life and your family in jeopardy now. Mm -hmm. Got me? Also, uh, yeah. Any questions? Yeah, questions, questions. Yes, Anyone questions? Yes, first of all, I'd like to ask you a question about the, the um, stuff that they're having on the news about the, the Gate Foundation su supposedly to um block the sun yes that's correct he's yeah. been doing that a long time that's a that's a working really, up for years yeah we've been talking i've been talking about that for about maybe about the last five years yeah they're having ways of they're trying to block the sun that's bill gates yes yeah yeah he has this new technology where they want to create this uh, sort of umbrella effect they believe that it's you know um it's affecting the way things <laughs> Come on now. The sun who gives you the authorization to block the sun. Give you know, body. everything right. in life no, needs fun. Just true. because you can do it doesn't mean you do that's it. Right. Who gives you the license to be authoritative to do something like right. that? You have the audacity to even mm -hmm. want to desire to do this. So is this like a James Bond diabolical mm -hmm. movie? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so very no, true. it's just crazy. I mean, but this is <laughs> this is what playing God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. terrible. Well, you know, everything in done. life needs. What about the things that need the sun, including you and God, me? Right. <laughs> we need, we the need the black right. to live in these spirits. I know. He needs the too much money. <laughs> Man, you know, and you know, his wife rolling too. You know about that. <laughs> about right. Damn, we know that. I'm not, like, I'm not gonna start about no the mess. Divorce man, and wife, you know, you know ain't I'm in. about to start some mess. I ain't gonna start no mess. <laughs> I, I, cause you know I got something to say, but I can't say it. Oh, <laughs> can't say it. Dr. Paul, say just a friendly little, um, friendly little tip from the crank radio. It yeah. also you can charge your phone a little bit. There's a little piece in there that you can charge your phone. Yes. Yep. That's correct. Corner. That's correct. Right on here. You got you got another USB cord right in here. So it's got excellent resources for everything. Get you one of these, family. See right there? She's right. Yeah, See right, right there? Mm -hmm. it's right back there. You got a little USB port back here also. So get you one of these. Look at this. Long antenna go up like that. Mm -hmm. Or if you oh. are someone who has what's called a ham radio. Anybody know about the ham yeah, radios? That's exactly what I was going to ask about. Military. Nobody. Yes. Yeah, you might want to get yourself registered for a class. Those Extreme. are free classes. Yes. They're free Extreme. classes. And um, you know, you can take a free class and get a ham radio, which actually is those, you know, the ones that go on a whole nother level. And absolutely they will be up when everything goes down. That's Got right. it? 
Mm -hmm. All right, family. That's all I have for you. I hope you get something. Get your book. Got you. Get your book. Start reading up on it. Start storing up some stuff. You know, make sure you have a good surroundings. Number one, water. You know, there is a website, and I can give you one website that you can get uh, storable foods that can actually, and I can pull it up real quick. If I y'all give me a mil, real quick second, uh, there are companies that actually have storable food. Uh, uh, let me see. What about storable gasoline? Can we store that? Uh, here it is, right here. It's a go to this website, family. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna. Share, I'm gonna share. Hey, I mean, you can just rent out a, a storage facility and just pack it in. You know, you can do something like that. I mean, people this can be store very gas. gasoline. How do you? Can we keep that? Store? Well, I mean, people. I mean. <laughs> Brothers, let me tell you, it's it's a dangerous thing. You be careful with that, yes, you know. But please. but but you can you can grab at least two five gallon and fill it up, you know, and just store it in a safe place, you know. Um, but yes, you can do that. Um, I want to I want to, but but I would definitely say, you know, gentlemen, for your cars and things like that, you may want to look for oil, extra oil for the the car. Also, of course, gasoline. Uh, kerosene, things like that. Uh, definitely those things will help. All right. I'm going to show you a website. Y'all want me to Fossil. share? I'm going to share this website yes. with y'all. There's, there's, there's several different websites out here. I'm just going to give you one because I just want to spark your your uh your your mindset tonight okay i want to give you you know like i said i want you to just start thinking about it got yes, it sir. got it all right i'm going to share the screen and i'm going to show you one of the websites that i recommend y'all ready mm -hmm. yes ready y'all see that let me know uh, when you see it yes we yeah. see it and okay you know i just put one of those in the chat too dr paul Okay, got it. So here's one right here. It's called yeah, My it Patriot before. Supply. Yes. Got it? This is a great resource site that I say, you know, you can go in and you can order. Look at this. See right here. Don't that look familiar? <laughs> I got one. Don't that look familiar? That's mine right there, right? But see what they have? They have survival supplies and emergency preparedness gear, trusted self-reliance for food independence. Look at this. Yeah. They got a, a super flow water container. They got a whole kit right here. You can buy a whole kit. Yeah. Emergency food kit oh, for cooking and everything. Got it? Yeah. You got this over here. What's this right here? Preparedness for crate for emergencies. These, they got some snatch and grab stuff. Like, you got to get out of Dodge real fast. There you got go. it? Yes, sir. Yeah. They also have outdoor survival items. You also have how to protect your digital privacy, including your address. And then they have best ways to store your food for long term. You remember I mentioned all of these things right here. Got it? So I want you to start to look at all of these things. Go to this website. It's a great website. I got one more thing. I got one more thing. Hold on. I got one more thing. I got I got to step away for a quick second. Big B, say something real quick. Say something real quick. Quick. How about that? No. I, <laughs> li listen, guys. Be very uh, uh, cognizant about this kind of thing. I had already, just before Dr. Paul uh, talked about this, I put some, there's another one that was called Ready Wise. It's almost like a, 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 a same kind of thing. But uh, I've been following these things now for at least four to five years, if not longer. Uh, you need to have something there as an emergency for the family. That's what's important right now. Listen, yeah. bear in mind, folk don't care nothing about us. And I say us, I'm talking about the what, what people are called the little people. Can I yeah. say that? Yeah. They, so, they want you to be able to just be able to figure out figure it out on your own. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so y'all got that website, right? Y'all putting that down? Y'all hearing this stuff tonight? Are we talking yeah, about some very, serious stuff you. tonight? <laughs> y'all, are we you. going in yeah. tonight? All right, all right. Yeah, you got to yes. start. You got to start thinking that way. Start thinking, family. You might want to store up on your herbs too. Get your raw herbs. You know, store them in glass, things like that. Keep them in cool, dark places. Got yes, it? Yes. You know, get your bottles of herbs up. You know, green drinks, things like that. All those things that you can use. Also, devices and things. Now, I want to show you one last thing, which I thought was, you know, it's getting a lot of um, 
uh, we get a lot of these things with the UN. When I'm connected to the UN, when you're in parts of different parts of the world where you have contamination with water. Yes, okay. Okay, contamination with water. Because if something were to happen, you know when we talk about the hackers, and if something happened where you could no longer get water because it was contaminated, mm -hmm. you might want to grab one of these. <laughs> this thing right here is called the life straw. See this right here? Can y'all see that? Ah. No, it just, it just, it's just... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to work this out. I'm going to work this out because this is too important. All right. It's this right here. Straw. See that right there? Uh-huh. This is called the life straw. Life straw. Mm. Life straw. And this thing is literally a device that allows you to fill up water and you can actually use it's like a little pump. It's a personal water filter. Ooh, All right. Is, it's a personal that. water filter. It's a personal water filter. It's an award winning technology makes microbiological contaminated water safe to drink. Mm. You got it? It yeah. remove it removes ninety nine point nine 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 percent of bacteria. Mm -hmm. What's the name of it again? It's called Life Straw. It's, it's called in the chat, Life Straw. Guys. It's, in the it's chat. called Life Straw. And this so is what's cool. being used around the world. We yes. use this around the world. And for countries that have terrible water, we send right. these out right. to the countries and they can actually use these Life Straws. They can actually yeah. drink from the contaminated river. Right, Ooh. from the contaminated, from the contaminated river. river. That's what and I was the so you would, you, okay. would, you would basically be sipping from this part right here. Mm -hmm. You would put this on your mouth, and you can put it literally right in the contaminated water and drink it straight through. And mm. this filter will remove E. coli. All right. That's what know, yes, mm. it'll remove all forms of E. coli, removes 99.9% .9 of all protozoa, and that's wow. all, that's all forms of it filters four thousand liters, which is about mm. a thousand gallons. Wow! I what if that's water? Where did we get that at? Where did we get I got that? this from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey, uh, Walmart, Walmart in trouble wow. right now. <clears throat> wow. Walmart in trouble. Y'all about to go there right now after this over, ain't y'all? Wow. It's 11 o'clock. I'm out of here, Doc. I'm out of here. <laughs> Does it filter salt water? Filters everything. No, no, no. Not salt water. I'm sorry. No, not salt water. That's, that's a whole nother process. Of salt water, right? That's something totally different. This is like if it was lakes, rivers, streams, okay. and if it was contaminated, you would just take this. <laughs> and Prophet, as you've seen this before, off at the UN, because we use this a lot at the UN. So you grab about one of these for every part, or every person in your family needs to have one. It's a personal straw. Ooh, it's nice called. Gift. It's personal. It's called the life straw, and you're going to find it in the camping section. When you go to Walmart, look for the camping section, yeah. and you'll see them in there. Got it? So get one for each person in your family. Have your own personal straw. That's in case you got to have the last resort. You got to use your straw. It's got a little string attached to it. Put it right around your neck. How about wow. that? Nice. Ain't that awesome? That's nice, y'all. Yeah. That's it. That's awesome. That is nice. And it also shows you on the back, like the whole process for how it works. See how it works on the back? Shows you how it works. So I got one of these for, you know, myself, my wife, and my son. And you keep these with you. Got it? In case the water gets contaminated, you just okay. don't know, family. Okay. You know? When they talking about stuff going on with the water and you can't do this and you can't do that, you know, it's good to have these types of things. And this is very light. It's very light. You can carry it with you. Mm -hmm. A thousand gallons. <laughs> Each one is it can filter a thousand gallons. You got it? Wow. Make it a point where this could be the difference between life and death. You got me? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, family. That's all I got for y'all tonight. All That's right. That's all right. right. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Paul. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Paul. Thank yes, you, Dr. absolutely. Oh, no Thank you. Thank absolutely. you, Dr. Paul. Thank you, Dr. Paul. Yes. 
And I want to say we're going to it's nine o'clock again. Y'all got me again. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, I didn't sir. even know it was nine o'clock. I sent you a message at 832 and I was you doing did. the roundup. You, you were doing the roundup. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even recognize it was nine, okay. nine o'clock. I'm going to look up. I got to look up to see the time. You wouldn't but have I think it was an emergency yeah. tonight. <laughs> but you know what? Yes, that was it. Sister said it. It's an emergency tonight, yes. you know. And I want to see if it's yeah, seen right. now. I think we're on the same vibration. Got it? That's yes, the key. Yes, yes. If you're on the same vibration of even thinking about it, that helps the situation. Now, when you step out, you're going to think a little different when you go out to the store this weekend. You're going to say, wow. you know what? Mm, amen. Let me grab, amen, let me amen. grab that. I know let me grab right. that. I no, let me grab that. I'm going to need I that. Right. You got it? Pour it up. You got it? All right, family. Ooh, Big B, man. close us out, man. It's time yeah. to go. I want to yes. thank everyone for all you're doing right. tonight. And Big B is going to close us out. Tell them, Big thank B, you. how hey. we... Uh, they hey can guys. help us out keep this thing going. You all got right? it right, guys. Just remember one thing, <laughs> one thing only. We all need help. And, and it's, we're at a point right now where we've got to always, not each week, bring somebody else to the tree. That's what's up, right? Uh, we want to make sure that you just continue to, to support Dr. Right, the whole careful. program tonight. You can put it on and uh, make sure that you, we want to put, the, already put the information in for the cash app, just, you know, and that's the, uh, the dollar sign, capital D R, capital H O P, okay? That's Dr. Paul. And make sure that your donations come, everything that's done now comes in for just what? Make sure that all this stuff gets done uh, properly. We get out. And by the way, also for the uh, for the chat, make sure mecha video at gmail.com. That way everything gets out to you exactly when it's necessary. And guess what? You not only you, but you can share this information with others. So listen, support the support the effort because guess what? It's gonna work for us down the road. Some of the information that you've got tonight, you're not gonna get anywhere else. So just keep that in mind. All right. And we'll see you next week. All right, Big B. Oh I want to thank y'all so much. This has been a blast. Hey, Living if you love it, hey, you know, we got to keep this going. And no better place than to do it right here on the family tree. Got it? So I want to thank you all for chiming in. But the most thing that important, I want you to share this information. Got it? You can't hold on to it, right? Remember, right. you can't hold on to nothing, right? Amen. Right. Main goal is you're going to have to share this with somebody. Got it? And and if anything, you know, write down these things and, you know, we try to get your, yes, your yes. mind just in the right state of mind. Yes. Thank you. And uh, if there's one more thing, I was trying to see if there was anything I left that I did leave out. I think I get everything. Uh, let me see here. Let's see here. Got Thank here. you, Dr. Paul. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. I really do. Because you know what? If you don't start to talk about these things, you never have a chance to even uh, answer the questions. You know, so that's why we have to make sure everyone, each one is accountable and that we help each other. So share and this with your family, th right? That's exactly what I was going to say. Share this info because guess what? There's no place they're going to get information except right here at the tree. That's right. That's right. All right, so we got to go. We got to go. The cash, cash app is, is dollar sign, capital D R, capital P A U L. All right, we got to go. It's in the chat, guys. I just had to get some music before we go. I want y'all to jam it on out. Can y'all hear that music? Yes, the tree of life. The tree of life. Come on, show me your moves before you go. Tell me, can you move your hands? Show the activity of your limbs. Yeah, show you. At least shake your head. You gotta just sit there, and shake your head. Make sure it's not a picture that we're looking at. You gonna shake your head? Cause some of y'all picture looks like this. <laughs> I don't know if it's a picture or not. Y'all like this? <laughs> there you go. Go ahead, Eunice. Go ahead, Eunice. Go ahead, Rita. Rita got it going on. Go, Rita. Go, Rita. Go ahead, Margaret. I see you. Go ahead, Prophetess. Thank you, Prophetess. I appreciate you. All right, Norma. 
confidence got to get the fastest fingers in the world. Hallelujah. Come on, Anthony. You got to dance, Anthony. Come on, Anthony. Come on, Anthony. Go ahead. <laughs> Throw the fist in the air. Do something. All right. There you go. Let's see who else is here. We got Troy over there. Oh, you got Terry. Look at Cliff. Look at Cliff. <laughs> Go Cliff! Go Cliff! Go Cliff! Go Cliff! Go Cliff. <laughs> That's right. Get up and dance if you want to. That's all right. You have never experienced a Zoom class where you just get up and just dance. Dance, dance, dance. I like the running man. I love the running man. <laughs> go there you go. There you go. Go ahead, Cliff. <laughs> He is <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. The original Samba. Yeah. Get that lymphatic system moving. There you go. Go ahead now. Thank you, y'all. Move it, Diane. Move it, Diane. <laughs> All right, William. I see you, Bill. <laughs> Kamara, where you at, Kamara? You duck down. Come on. Get up and dance, Kamara. She ducking down. Come on now. Go ahead. Go ahead, Norma, yeah. Margaret. Yeah. We got Dolly and Cynthia over there. Just shaking their head. That's all, right, all you do. Hey. Yeah, right, there you go. Job. Is that Catherine up there? Catherine? Hey, Catherine. All right. All right. All right. I'm sure those that are listening by phone, you can just jam to the music, too. We can't see you, but that's all good. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. See, that's the whole point is you got to be able to move the activity of your limbs. Bring that flow and that circulation. <laughs> Lower that blood pressure. All right, we want to thank everyone for coming through. Thank you for the questions and the concerns. And we will see you next week on the Family Tree. Give yourselves a hand. All right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I tell you, it's, it's hard to leave you free. I'm glad my chair got wheels on it, because it won't be able to keep up with me. <laughs> Go ahead, Big B. Go ahead, Big B. Go ahead, Big B. <laughs> You said, Big B, you look like you had your green drink today. <laughs> All right, y'all. God bless y'all. May God keep y'all. And we'll see you next week on the Family Tree. Good night, John Boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. All right. All right.